More Dave, Dave, Dave the Diver. More Dave, 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 Dave the Diver. Do, 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 do. I do want to put my music on. Uh, let's go check the fish. So I don't think I've done that. Hello, life. Uh, no, I did not download Apex yet. Though I did download Fallout 76, because I was planning on playing that again soon. Probably by myself. Guy, what? Oh, <laughs> that's a funny emote. That's really tiny. It's hard to see. And a double shot of whiskey. Oh wait, I don't want to go to the sushi bar. Well, actually, maybe I do, cause I have all that cat food to give to the cat. And I want to do that. Meow. What happens if I give him the... Well, let's go with the common one first. Just makes the cat happy. Meow. Can I feed the cat again? No. Can only give the cat once a day. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Okay, let's get diving. Go see the. To go to see people guard post. Okay. Well, I will understand them now. Oh yeah, I got new guns. Hold the disassemble. I can do that now. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, isn't this the medium launcher now? Uses to get multiple groups of fish, not the uh, jellies. But I do really like catching the jellies. There's a lot of jellies.
He's gonna try and hit me. Disassemble that for fragments. Oh, there's no event, so I can catch whatever I want. I think maybe I want to start catching more tuna, honestly. Could I net the tiger fish? See, I can't net you, right? No, I didn't think so, but can I net you? No. Okay. So that means I probably can't net the tuna. It'd be nice if this would drop me the things. Golf club. It is a really good melee weapon. Four hits with this thing. Kill him. If I actually can hit him. I don't have the shark event anymore, so I really don't need to do this. That'll give me a load of meat. Lead, lead. Yeah, I only found iron once. It was just enough to make that red sniper rifle. I mean to club the fish. Was it goofy? Yes. That did not mean to golf club him. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, I probably did not need that yet. There's iron. Does work. Oh, that's beautiful. I have comb jellies now. Healthy comb jellies. And if I'm lucky, I got eggs from them. doing this to hope for the eggs. You're big, you're ugly. I want your meat. See if I can go do the story quest quick. Or if I just resurface. Let's try out the Sea People Translator from Dr. Bacon and see how it works. Uh, uh, can you hear me? What? How is a human speaking our language? An interesting creature. His body looks different from that of the humans we occasionally see. Is that a bad joke? Well, in any case, right, I would... I should introduce myself. My name is... Sawam? 
Among us low dwellers. Oh, you said you should call us sea people, right? You could say that I'm bravest, coolest male among them. Ahem. Oh, his name is Swum. Nice to meet you. I'm Dave. <laughs> Dave is in our language. Your name sounds very similar to Broken Toilet Lid. What is with this creature? In any case, the person lying here is. The daughter of the Sea People Village Chief, Ramo. Ever s since being kidnapped by that stupid giant squid, she's been unconscious. If I'd known about it a little earlier, I'd have shown that squid a thing or two. Don't get a big head for defeating that insignificant squid, human. I am one of the guard, one that guards Ramo. You really are a nosy one. In any case, you seem to have something to say. What is it? Oh, about that. In order to allow Ramo to recover, we need some medical herbs. I'm on a. I'm unavailable to leave, as I must stay and look after her. Human, you must acquire some medical, medicinal herbs to help Ramo recover. The feather coral and lily coral grown in these parts. Please make them edible and bring them to me. Make them edible? How do I do that? That's for you to figure out, human. Go find a chef to help you cook or something. Hmm. She's ill, so I can't refuse to help her. Feather coral and lily coral, huh? I guess. That'll take a look around. I'll take a look around first. I have to resurface right now before I can do that. No, he doesn't really have anything that I want. Um, I do want to switch guns, maybe. Or actually... I gotta grab my air. I don't really need that right now. Need more fragments. Need more fragments. Need more fragments for really all of this. A bunch of rope and fragments for that. Okay, but I could almost do that. I didn't realize that upgrading stuff costs money. And these are just upgrade the magazine, it looks like. And maybe I get a bigger net. Or can catch bigger creatures.
trying to put my blankie on. Cause I chilly. I wish the fish would swim closer to each other sometimes. Sharky here. Do you want to bonk him in the nose? I think it takes three shots for this one. Lead again. a third of the way full my inventory I barely have done anything I guess a shark probably takes up a lot of space though I was hoping to catch more than one fish there Come here, come jelly, you're mine.
You're my new friend now, come Jelly. You're coming home with me. Pacific fanfish. Haven't seen that one yet. Sea toad is tough. It said in these reaches is where the special corals I'm supposed to get is, right? I've never broken a plant around here. Ever, I don't think. That's a giant ore fish. If I take a picture with the blue plankton next to it, that could make a pretty nice picture. Blue plankton. Blue plankton. That? Oh, there's a, a feather coral. What is that scary thing? Now, this is another thing to take a picture of. Could be. There's a lot of comb jellies here. Ow. air right here. Thank god there was air right there.
Hey, hopefully I'm good. Yeah, okay, that does pause it. Okay, well, I got all the stuff that I need. I can't pick anything else up. As much as I want the new fish that I see there. These comb jellies scare me, so... Ow. Exactly why the comb jellies scare me. Ow. You're not gonna let me have my way, are you? There you. Oh, I thought I did it. He's like stuck on me. Oh, you know what? There we go. Phew, it seems I got everything that Fossey Half ha Fish asked me for. He wanted me to make this coral edible, mm -hmm. right? I'll have to ask Boncho for help. Oh, you brought a picture of something. Can I see? That's a giant ore fish. Yeah. I heard that fish was referred to as a god in the ancient times. It really is huge. <laughs> Amazing. I'll put your picture to good use. Make sure readers love it. <laughs> oh, it really is October 31st, isn't it? Because that's why it says Happy Halloween. Huh, little kid, we haven't opened yet. Hello, kid? Mm. Um, you look like a student. We haven't opened yet. Come back a little bit later. Listen, listen, you, I heard you the early the time, so... Heard you the one time, so stop mm. blabbing. What? What in the world? Hi, I'm sorry, it wasn't me. You rotten blowfish, you get me food, food! Uh, what in the world is going on here? I think I've read about this somewhere. There's a therapy method that involves letting traumatized kids speak their mind through dolls. Doll, how dare you? You idiots don't deserve to live. I suppose it could be something more complicated. Let's ask what she wants first. Kombu and white trevelli I want to do. Oh, that sounds like something older men would want. I don't know what's going on, but we'll have to have her give her... Eh. I don't know what she's going on, but... I don't know what's going on, but we'll have to give her what she wants for us to try and have a conversation. Mm. Kombu and white trevetli. Let's check the ingredients first. I do have everything. Ooh, he always gets tips. That'll help with extra money. I like you, Billy. some jellyfish I think I'm making some now
This game is wild. I love it. <laughs> sob, sob. Oh, why are you crying suddenly? It's too good. <laughs> this is the way too good. Damn it, it's too good. It reminds me of my father, sub. Whoa, what's going on, kid? My name is Mackie. I'm looking for my father. My father left to explore the depths, and I can't get in touch with him anymore. His favorite food was kombu and white trevally. Tre tre and I heard you sell it here. I thought he might have come mm. by here. That's a pity. I'll be sure to tell you if you see someone that looks like your father. Mm. And, uh, what is the, the, that doll? This is... A Cleone plushie my father gave it to me before he left? Oh, I have a favor to ask. It's about the Cleone. I've never seen one in person. Could you catch mm. one for me? Uh, Cleone. Mm. Uh, we can't catch something so small with a harpoon. What do you do? Could we use this? A bug net? Uh, I think it might work. Alright, I'll give it a shot. What are you doing, you wallers? Get your tights on and jump into the water. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't control my emotions that well yet. You can now use a bug net to capture small creatures, like a seahorses or Cleone. Which can't be caught with a harpoon. Oh. <laughs> That's how you do it. Oh, I thought I grabbed something. I guess it did not. There we go. That wasn't too bad, was it? It wasn't as good as the day before, but net profit was a thousand, and I, we did spend money on leveling up people, so. Ah, uh, some kind of mail is here. Should I check it? Huh, this is a spice lab. We research perfect combination of various spices and ingredients. Curry, huh?
Okay. I don't know what I can do for. Oh, this was to ask Boncho to cook a dish. I didn't forgot. I was also gonna check my fish, but oh well. So how do we use the net? Do I just grab them now? Well, let's see if it's, so we can find a seahorse quick. Well, there's something small over there. Oh yeah, you just kind of like yank them. Cool. I wonder if this has something to do with making curries. I hope I get to breed up the little fish too. Here, cuttlefish. iron yes it is
Get out of the spikes. Dwarf Seahorse. Yeah, I really hope that the small critters are what are the curry is used for. Because them being so small, I probably do want to end up breeding them up so I don't have to collect them all the time. Also, I'm going to have to search for them all. Why are Breams so durable? Pretty sure he's nocturnal, so. And I've not been down here in the weeds late of the night. Uh, I didn't do the quest yet.
Ooh. Tranquilizer Moxin Nagant. I don't know what I need all this amethyst for, but might as well get it. That works, apparently. I don't really see any of the little more things that I need. Mm, that looks like a Nautilus again.
Well, I guess I'll go back to the surface and hope that I won't fail because I didn't get enough of them yet. I also do want to try and net things in the night. Yeah, it's only afternoon, so... Ah, so this is coral has to be prepared. It's easy to eat but <clears throat> see people. Well, I think we could start with a porridge of sorts. Give me a moment. <clears throat> Here you go. I softened I softened the coral to make it easy to eat, so I should be fine. <clears throat> wow, thanks, Boncho. You're <clears throat> so quick. All right, let's take this to Ramo. Oops, I wanted to go to the boat. There we go, get the white leg shrimp. Another common cat food.
don't know why the Trevelli was being so tough. Belly Seahorse. Hey, Gerber. There we go. That's why I saved the drone. Two more of those little things. Mm -hmm. 
I just need one more. I should look around more. <laughs> just now, did I see huge Siloni? Phew, all done. I should go back up now. I think it just ate me, didn't it? What? What is this place? Oh no. That's such a huge Cyloni. Uh, I probably wouldn't get away with the fight. Whatever, let's defeat it first. Okay, boss battle. And I'm over encumbered. Um, I would like to drop some stuff. Just so my weight's a little bit better. Oh, it spits. Lovely. Okay, it seems like hitting it in the face hole is critical damage. I'm out of ammo. Right at the end there. I think I probably only need to hit it one more time. Yeah, I kind of expected that was going to kill me. I have to beat this. There's no going back to ship or quit. It's I have to beat this. It doesn't seem that hard. It's just... I'm not good at this kind of thing.
There we are. That wasn't that bad. Phew, what a monster. It still stings. Let me see if there's anything useful to pick up. Huh, I see something shiny over there. I should go have a look. Huh, a photo of Makey. I'll have to take it back up. There's one boss defeated. All the seahorses. I just want to see what I can catch down here. I should have grabbed the net gun. Forgot to do it again. Aggressive little bugger.
I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a vampire squid, which I couldn't catch last time. Spear squid. Oh, okay. I just want to see what little things I can find down here at Nocturnal. There's gotta be something. I just feel like I never catch enough things in the Nocturnal times. I wonder how many silver bowls I have put, saved up, because I think they're 50 each. Interesting, I can't go in the deep dark during nocturnal times. Not yet, anyway. Dang it. That's what I get for taking risks and doing nocturnal.
here at Saloni like you asked. It's so beautiful. Thank you, Dave. Ah, I found this. Huh. Is this a photo of me? There was a huge Saloni. I found this one in its home. There's a button on the back. I'll try pressing it. Mackie, it's your father. If you're watching this, then I've probably failed my expedition. I couldn't really take care of you with my busy schedule. My greed for more work has turned me into an irresponsible father. You haven't been able to make many friends because we kept moving around because of my work. So, even so, I wanted you to forgive me for being a terrible father, and I live a confident life. And... Your dream of becoming a chef, I hope it comes true. I'll keep watching you from afar, so don't even lose your smile. Interesting moment. Mm. Huh. It seems you have cut off. Don't be too upset. It seems your father really loved you, Maki. Please let me work here. What? So suddenly? Yes, my father wouldn't like to see me so lethargic and sad. I want to show him that I'm doing fine and working hard. And if you showed concern for me and helped me, I'd like to help you as well. Mm. Um, Boncho, what do you think? Hmm, what a spirited child. I like her. You can start working here today, but you won't be getting any special treatment. Yes, okay. I work hard to learn and become an amazing chef. She just has a hundred cooking, and that's about it. Do I have anything? Kansas curry? No, it doesn't look like it. Fish. 
There we go. That went pretty well. Yeah, I don't know. It's a curry event, but I don't know what exactly makes a curry. Another seahorse over here. One of these seahorses is going to be exactly what I'm looking for. All those shrimps would be very valuable to me. Eventually, I feel like. Not close enough.
set that bad boy up. Oh, I didn't even see them. Blood belly comb jellyfish. I like putting the fishies to sleep.
I finally got him! Ow. There's some air around here. Oh, there, right there. Man, I'm going to be really stocked up on shark meat next time the shark event shows up. There we go. Now I made it back here. Here, I brought some coral porridge. Oh, you really brought it. Sniff seems to be all right. Be right. Rainbow, this is coral porridge. I prepared it myself. Phew, I feel so much better now. I can't remember anything after seeing stoop seeing squid tentacles. Huh, a human? What is a human doing here? Well, you could say I saved you. I defeated the giant squid and brought you the coral porridge. Hmm, is that so? Wait, Ramo, that's not it. I'm actually the one who. Alright then, human, you shall escort me back to my village. Me? Why should I? I'm an injured lady. You need to keep anything dangerous from happening. Rainbow, I can escort you to So, um, you go ahead and s scout our path. What? How could you let a human escort you? 
I can keep you safe, and you haven't even passed the village tactics exam. It was tough enough coming here. Oh, uh, that's a sore spot for me. So, um, stop complaining and be our lookout for the path ahead. As for you, human, you'll have to carry me on your back. On my back? It's hard enough to move around as it is down here. Uh, my injured fin, it's hurting again. You are impossible. I'll take you to the village and no further, alright? Get to the target location safely with Ramo on your back. Ramo has the ability to open up two burn paths. Watch your surrounding careful and escort her safely. Good thing I already killed a larger majority of things. Good, follow along. Make sure Rainbow isn't hurt. Good thing I already went down there and killed a bunch of things. What is this vibration? It's rare to experience one so strong. Did something happen to the village? You must return quick. We must return quick. Hurry, human. She's gonna die because of those silly. S it was close. Uh, those jellies almost got her. Hopefully, there's no more. And now, human, don't tell me you're tired already. Bring her carefully. Ooh. Ooh. 
I wonder if this wouldn't be so bad if I wasn't over encumbered. But I wasn't not expecting this, so. And I don't want to drop anything. I mean, I could probably drop the dead jellies, but they're still meat. There's a shark there. Something coming up there. Rainbow, this is our path. It is blocked with rock. Oh no, what is going on? Um, it must have been the vibrations earlier. Think of something. I need to get back quick before my father scolds me even more. Maybe we can open our path by dropping the loose rock pile over there. If we can topple it, it can make it fall. We might just do the trick. Well, I suppose it might work. How do we make the rocks fall, though? Oh, I see. A stake over there. Maybe we pull it out. Human, can you pull out that stake over there? The stake? I think it, it'll hurt my hand with the gloves I'm wearing. I could probably do it with gloves that are thicker and offer a better grip. Dave, my apologies. I left the microphone on because I was dying to know what you were talking about. If it's enhanced diving gloves you need, I think my lab should figure it out. Help you out. Oh, new gloves? Uh -huh. Equipment goes hand in hand with exploration. And not come up to the boat. <laughs> I think there must be a way. Could you wait here for a moment? Hold it, human. You plan to leave Rainbow in a dangerous place like this? Luckily, she has me guarding her. Still, be back quick. Thank God. Hey, that means I finally get gloves that I think can probably pick up urchins. Huh, the road back to the Sea People Village, huh? How fantastic! My lab has developed some diving gloves to use to retrieve artifacts. I see, that should let me pull out the stake without my hand slipping, right? Uh, of course, it has many various safety measures built in that'll let you move many other objects besides stakes. The long dive must have been tiring. Get some rest. I'll explain the details tomorrow. I'll come to the boat tomorrow morning.
finally getting some deep dark fish. I wonder if it let me move those rocks, because they look like they can be moved. I should see which fish I actually need a net instead of. Maybe I'll have a breeding pair of marlin now. That would be very useful. to destroy them for fragments like sooner. Thank <laughs> you. 
Cause like, yeah, I want the high quality fish. I'm serious, I'm gonna be so, so full of shark meat. But, like, I don't know, I want a, another shark event to happen. So it seems to be like a new event every week. So. I don't know if it's completely random. Or what. Or if it's based on stuff that I've unlocked. Cause some of the events happen and then you get the ability to get them. I'll be honest, I need more salmon I should be or the tunas yeah tuna so I should be like getting those net bombs and catching them and upgrading the uh the rover the drone that is what I should level up is the drone oh I have played for two hours okay well I made some story progress Well, I want to get the gloves, at least, and maybe test them out. So let's fill up on inventory space. Oh, I can't because I'm full anyway. Duh.
There we go. Why do I have so many white leg shrimp meat?
There we go. I haven't reached the... No, not yet. Oh yeah, this definitely made me a lot of money. There we go, yep. Yep. Five star today's, bunch of artists and stars, yep. Here, these are special diving gloves made in our research facility. With these, you'll be able to pick up various objects in the water. Why don't you test them out yourself? Enter the water. Objects that can be picked up will show a button when you go near them. First try grabbing the pile of rocks over there and dropping them. That weak wood, so you should be able to break through it. Wow, very nice. Now let's try going down. strong grab that anchor so it won't sweep you away good you can grab onto objects like that anchor to yourself you'll be able to handy in current oh I can see something shiny back there grab the stake in front of you and pull Awesome! Since the path is open, grab the treasure up top and before it coming up. Uh, Alright, see you in the boat. Hello. Looks like Dr. Bacon left abruptly again after finishing his explanation. In any case, these diving gloves look like they really could come in very handy. I heard that the sea people are waiting for you to go down there and pull, try pulling out that stake.
Can I pick up sea urchins now? Yes, these ivy gloves should be able to be able to pick up sea urchin. Sea urchin sushi, just the thought of it makes me drool. Oh, I wonder if the sea urchin sushi could be turned into a uh, curry. Small enough, can I? I can. I see where the net gun's so useful now. 
I mean, I always thought it was useful, but... Ooh, a new seahorse! Huh? Is that pile of rocks moving around? It's the octopus! From earlier! <laughs> Urgh, it's the octopus from last time! It's spraying ink again! I won't let you get away with it this time! Just move! Just wait! Great, the path is clear. Just wait, you octopus. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> how dare you spray ink twice. I won't let you get away with it this time. Ask Poncho for, for Takayaki Yoki. And it ran away again. It's definitely quick. It dropped something again. Hmm, it always leaves something behind. It might not be as bad as I thought. It seems to be an artifact. I'll have to identify it back at the surface. Rusty weapon charm? Oh, you're back, human. I was afraid you'd be eaten by a frilled shark on the way back. She talks like someone I know. I think I'll be able to pull out the steak if I use the d d diving gloves from Dr. Bacon, who lives on land. Bacon, <laughs> in our language, that name sounds like spoiled whale meat. Uh, okay, wait a moment. Let me try and pull... It was effective, but not enough. Hmm. I think one more attempt might cut it. Human, there's another rock pile over there. Hmm. Huh, there's no mo movable device over there. I'll have to go check it out first. Okay. 
go. Hmm, there's nothing that can be done on this side. I'll have to try going around. Yeah, I kind of saw that. Oh, can I? No, I can't net the cookie cutter shark. That sucks. My inventory is full again. Ow. There's a stake in the back. If I pull it out. Wow, human, good, we have a path. You're more useful than you look. The village is very close. Come in through the hole just, you just made. I'll go ahead. Wait, I can leave now? Can't I? Would you listen to yourself? Aren't you worried for Rayma? Besides, I have a request for you, so I would like you to come to the village with us. The Sea People Village? Me? Yes, there's a reason I came all the way to the, up to the Human Sea. I have a request. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm getting really spooky vibes. So, suddenly just moved past me. Human, go ahead, be our lookout. But it's so dark. I feel like there might be something dangerous there.
This is going to be a boss fight again, isn't it? What is this? Why is there debris like this so deep? Oh no, those vibrations again. Something has to be here. Why did he tell me to come in alone? Wolfiel. Whoa, what is that? There are wolf eels that big? Uh, I don't think I can run or... Oh, whatever. What the fuck? It looks really tough. Uh, the shining spot on the tail looks weaker than the rest of its body. I got it! Uh, how can a wolf eel be so big? Ahem, I was just about to come and defeat it. I guess I came too late. Haha, uh -huh, you're stronger than I expected, human. Now you can see the big gate over there? That's the entrance to the village. Take the lead, human. Phew, we're finally back to the village entrance passageway. Rainbow, you have the key, right? Oh no, I left the key back at the... Just kidding. 
I have it right here in my bag. Phew, I thought you would ask me to take you again. Let's insert the key and get back to the village. Wow, so this oh. is, uh, that's right, this is the Sea People Village we live in. To think there would be a place like this under the sea. Wait, how did a human get in here? Uh, Rainbow and Swam, were you kidnapped by this human? Tenzin awaits you, he lost sleep worrying about you. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, allow me, I rescued Rainbow after she was kidnapped by a squid. Forget it, just take me to my father. I'll be faster for me to explain things to him. Oh my goodness, Rainbow, my daughter! Where were you? My precious girl, your daddy. Your daddy was worried out of his wits. Are you hurt? Did the humans do something to you, my daughter? Wait, who is next to you? I thought you'd brought a blue manatee, but this is a human. That's a fat joke. What is going on here? I'd like an explanation. You know that strange things have been happening around here recently, right? For example, the tremors and the ice melting off the divine tree. Of course, Rainbow, I've been looking at, into the causes. It's already been two years. You know our technology has its limits. We, well, the ancient texts have all been lost, and we need to figure out our new methods again. We can't simply keep waiting, Father. Humans are selfish, but they have a good technology. We need their help. No, not the humans. They can't be trusted. They dirtied our home and even hunted our kind to put on display. They're wicked creatures looking to hunt us and steal from us. We can't ally them with the likes of them. Another huge tremor. See? Something really bad will, will happen if we don't do anything. Hmm. When I have taken by the giant squid and human water, Dave here helped me out. So Wom said he was the one who did that earlier. Try asking him. Not all humans can be bad, can they? I mean, well, even even if I wanted this, the villagers would not agree. Getting help from humans, everyone would find that hard to believe. If this man can gain the villagers' trust, I'll consider your suggestion. Mm, the villagers' trust. How does he go about winning that? How about asking around to see what they need? All right, since today's long trip must have been pretty tiring, human, come back. Come back here tomorrow. You'll have to listen to the villagers' requests. Wait, I didn't even agree yet. How am I supposed to come all the way here? Hmm, mm. since you say you helped my daughter, Ramo, I suppose it wouldn't be fitting for my people to ignore your needs, even if you're a human. Use this. What is this? It looks like an ordinary mirror. This sea people mirror, once installed, will let... You instantly travel to this village. Wow! Is such a thing possible? The various disasters have caused our decline, but our ancestors were a very advanced civilization once. Right now, all we have left is a few of their relics. And sadly, in any case, installing this in your village will allow you to come to this village whenever you need. It will recognize your face, so only you'll be able to use it. It will also operate from the light of the divine tree or sun, so it can only be used during the day. Oh, and I'll give you a village map to use. I'll help you find the villagers. Hmm, a teleportation device. That's pretty ha amazing. I'll have to go back to the boat with this mirror for now. Ooh, 
extra 15% gun base damage added? Oh, I should have read that. Uh, looks like I arrived too late. I should do a little cleanup. Oh, Miss Yoshi, what are you doing here? Oh, my work ended just now, and I was passing by. I saw the lights were on, despite the hour. Boncho seems to have gone home already. He looks a bit tired recently. I'm worried he might fall ill. Hee <laughs> hee, even so, I'm glad to see him working so hard again, like this. Oh, come to think of it, I heard he once gave you... gave up on cooking because of a certain incident. Yes, back then I thought he was gone for good. I wonder what it was about. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's nothing that secretive. I simply avoided mentioning it with him present, just in case it, it's still a sore spot for Boncho. I'm thirsty. Can you first give me a glass of beer? Sigh, nothing so refreshing as a glass of beer after work. It's especially nice to have a view of the sea at night like this as they drink. Mm. I'll tell you now a bit about Boncho and why he quit cooking for a while. It was 12 years ago. This is the Dugon Hotel. I worked here 12 years ago. It's a five-star hotel with both tradition and a long history. It looks a bit old, yes, but at the time, the quality of the food and the service has been newly improved. Yoshi, do you have a moment? What is it, manager? Well, a troublesome customer left a reservation. A troublesome customer? Do you know the actress Louise Crawford? She made a reservation at our hotel. Louise Crawford, she was a leading actress with a long career. Her role as a spy is one of her most famous works. The 42nd floor was extremely impressive. She appears to have hit a slight slump as her new movies haven't been doing very well. The manager has spent his entire life at the hotel. It was like he was living in embodiment of his history. He had a lot of knowledge about the etiquette used by the upper class of each country. He was very used to, but to serving those of high rank. Many VIPs sought his services. Our Dugan Hotel is a luxury hotel with many years of history and tradition. In the past, we have nobles staying in our accommodations, and many notable films were shot here. Many people seeking that sort of old era nostalgia used our services, and we have very high standards for the services we provided. I've heard that Louise Crawford can be very picky, but we are very high quality hotel and history and tradition on our side. I don't think there will be any issues if she comes. Haha. <laughs> so, there it is. Nobody can beat the level of services and staff at this hotel. We've won many prizes as well. Just one thing, you haven't heard the rumors about her, have you? The rumors? Take a look at this. This is, she's famous. Famous not only as a chef, but a gourmand. That's a blurb. She published in Traveler magazine recently. It appears to be description of her travels, but it's just her bashing on the hotel she's staying at. Gloria Hotels are the best of the best, and yet she wrote such a scathering review. Bringing out the bad does make a person look m more professional. Her writing is mostly like this. What do you suggest we do, Yoshi? I suppose we can't refuse the reservation. If only... For the hotel's reputation's sake. In that case, we'll have to think about how we'll serve her. We'll take the reservation, we'll, but we will also need to think of ways to satisfy her. I suppose you're right. So, do you have any ideas, Yoshi? Our hotel's strength are our long history and tradition as well as our high-quality service. The way we can satisfy her will involve making good use of these things. Did she reserve a suite? Yes, it's a suite. We'll need to clean rooms and services that match her tastes. We'll treat her as a VIP. 
It'll look into the drinks and amenities she prefers and place them as I also check on the state of the rooms. And about who will receive her, I suppose it'll ha I'll have to do that. Thank you. There's no one that can handle such a tricky customer except you, with your long experience with many VIPs. I'm more tense than usual, but... And about the meals, we can offer her a buffet for breakfast, and we'll also need to ready a diner, of course. Our hotel provides Italian food like a bistro in La Carte style. We serve pasta or pizza with a simple wine. The chef learned to cook in Naples and his margarita pizza was good, but it didn't really go well with the dinner, of course. Dugan's Hotel's Japanese food has never been its strong suit. We only serve undone or simple dunbury. We've been making exceptional progress, however, after we hired Boncho, we've grown quite dramatically. Bancho was famous his ability to reinterpret the use of ingredients in his food was recently featured in Overseas Magazine. He might be our dark horse. That means Japanese is likely to be our best choice. Bancho hasn't really proven himself yet. Do you really think it'll be alright? Bancho's skill is indestructible. However, one great drawback is that he doesn't consider the preferences of his customers. His sole focus is letting people try new flavors. That is what drives his creativity, of course, but this time it won't be really serve us. We're dealing with the infamous Lewis Crawford, after all. I see that a good point, however, I think the best we can do right now is try and persuade Boncho. I agree. Best of luck, Yoshi. Boncho, are you here? Miss Yoshi, what are you doing here? Oh, you're here. That's good. I'll come to check on the status of the manager's request. Look, all you want. It's just an ordinary Japanese food kitchen. Boncho was really a peculiar man. He suddenly appeared one day, handing us a resume, explaining he's been learning in Japanese. All the sushis established list in the resume were top tier, but Boncho never stayed in one place for long. He told me that he moved for on each time after learning enough. The manager had a long talk with him and then left the operation of the Ch Japanese food team to him. He could always be found in the kitchen, busy with something day in and day out. He researched food on his own when there were no customers. He hated to be interrupted. Were you practicing? Well, yes. Training means thousands and tens of thousands of attempts. Practice without rest is the only way to produce meaningful results. C. I heard that you never skip research or practice. Boncho, it relieves me to see that you work you so hard at work. What do you mean? You're so relieved. Boncho would be willing to... Try servicing a VIP. That's right. We have an important guest who will increase our reputation, or rather, who might send it plummeting to the ground. Her name is Louise Crawford. She's an actress and infamously hard to please. How, and also a gourmand reviewer. It's been about a year since you joined the Dugan Hotel. Our Japanese food team, which was never very strong, received much attention in a short span of time. And we can't deny that your contribution to this was great. However, this means that we will also get customers who want special treatment. So you mean to say that I should try and please this picky woman, Louise Crawford? Yes, this is important, as Dugan Hotel's reputation lies in the balance. Hmm. What do you say? For me, cooking has always been a battle with myself, not with others. Making perfect food has always been my goal, and that won't change no matter who I cook for. I simply use the best ingredients available in the current season and most suitable recipe. Will that be okay with you? Alright, I'll leave the individual dishes in your hands, Boncho. However, I would like to offer input on the method of servicing our guest. Alright, you're the expert, Miss Yoshi, when it comes to servicing the food. A sushi course offers various kinds of sushi in a certain order with a few side dishes interspersed in between. It allows us to use sushi to allow customers to try many types of fish. What do you think of the sushi course? It's also very... It's also your specialty. I'm very familiar with the method, however, don't you think it's a little too ordinary? If we choose to go with this, we'll likely use tuna sushi, pike eel sushi, or olive flounder sushi as the main dish. Olive flounder being in season right now. That won't be very impressive, however. Hmm, alright. Since it is to be dinner, I think, of course, we better than a single dish. That means probably be better to employ a western course format instead. Though it'd be a bit different from the traditional method, I think we could add soup. 
uh, horse dias, sashimi, side dishes, sushi, tempura, and dessert. To ooh, of course. What do you think? Not bad. So what do you make for each dish? There's a soup to begin with. It's a lot of reading. Yes, I think that'll be fine. Up to to sushi. Tempura is next. I suppose shrimp would be the most logical choice. Hmm, it's difficult to create an impact with shrimp. We've kept thinking pretty normal so far, so this is where we add a little spice. I've been researching this very topic. How does something like this sound? You must have a good idea. Let's hear it. Shark. I'm thinking of a dish that uses a shark head. What? A shark? Can sharks be eaten? Sharks are very tasty fish. This is the time of year when they grow fat, blo boosting the flavor. The meat in the cheeks is particular ha has a lovely chewy texture, which reminds you of both ordinary f meat and fish. But shark is too exotic for an ingredient. Couldn't we use something a little more widely consumed? Especially considering this is Louise Crawford. Good food will impress anyone. Anyone who takes a bite will recognize the food of what it is. That is the best possible food that can be found around here in the current season. Um, I'll give it some thought. I'm sh not sure. It'll be okay. I can't help but think it's not the great of an I that great of an idea, Boncho. Hmm. If you serve that dish and things go sideways, the consequences won't affect you alone. Both the manager and I will also take part of the blame. After all, she's coming to the Duon Hotel, not to a restaurant operated by you. A hotel must seek to provide the most restful and enjoyable experience to its guests. Nothing can be allowed to mar that experience as the hotel will stand to lose by it. But there's no guarantee she'll hate it. She'll know how from taking just a bite that it's one of the greatest foods. There's always an exception to the rule. She's an extremely picky person, after all. What a pity. I understand. I'll go with the shrimp tempura then, though I can't... It can't compare to the shark. And then, yeah, he ended up sending the shark head, and she didn't like it. Right? This way, Miss Crawford. Thank you. This is the chef who will be preparing your food today, Boncho? Hmm. He's younger than I expected. I was hoping for a slightly more experienced chef. Oh my, tight lift, are we? Perhaps my looks leave you at loss for words. <laughs> he seems a little tense. He's still quite a skilled chef, I assure you. I'll be looking forward to the food, then. I remember the service here being quite alright for an old hotel. I like the carpet and the paintings on the walls as well. Furnishings at Gloria Hotel have a uh, kiddish quality to them that I don't like. But to think that there's no gym, that's a bit of a shocker. I need to exercise daily to maintain my figure. It was our intention that your stay to be as restful as possible. Everyone has their preferred ways of resting. Well, the bathing facilities were good, so I'll content myself with that. So, what's for dinner? A Japanese course meal. Here's the course menu. This is a steamed dish composed of grilled snapper and roe, which has steamed garnish with ground yam. The soup features the rich flavors of fish. Hmm. Is that a Japanese soup? It's got a bland flavor coupled with a spicy scent. Quite interesting. That is the flavor of sashimi. There is a tiny bit of flavoring provided by a condiment, condiment made from several different spices. And the next dish is... So the tempura and dessert are left. What's the tempura? Don't tell me it's shrimp. The sort that commonly served with rice, sai. Desserts, no doubt that... You Usual fruit. I suppose I've tasted basically everything. It's hard to decipher her reaction. Have we succeeded? How do you like it? Are you happy with our Japanese food? Well, it's about as good as I expected to be, I suppose. I suppose I could come here to eat every now and then. But why bother coming to a hotel to eat food that's quite average? <laughs> Even so, I'm so sure our food is better than that. Most of our other restaurants... The snap pursuit or something was pretty interesting, but that's it. It's just a fishy soup with a spicy aftertaste. I think you added sticky yam on top. Ugh. I didn't really like the texture. 
Oh dear, it seems Japanese food isn't all that to your liking. Ignorant of that fact, he served you Japanese by mistake. Please accept our apologies. Whatever, it wasn't that good, but it was healthy, at least. This hotel doesn't even have a gym, so I suppose the food should be healthy. At that, at the very least. Um, may I have a word, Boncho? Let me introduce myself again. I am the master chef who works here, Boncho. I'm not much of a speaker, so I've been listening quietly. I find it impossible to maintain my silence now, however. Oh my, do you have something to tell me? Apparently you're supposed to have better food than anywhere else, right? Now, now, Boncho, Miss Luis here is just... It is most definitely my fault for failing to provide food that satisfies you. Will you not give me a chance to make up for my mistakes? What? Oh, well, gosh, I'm a very busy woman. What you witnessed today aren't my real skills. I'll serve you food that can objectively be called good. Boncho, you can't be talking about... Hmm, so you're saying you have something else you think will satisfy me. Alright, I'll wait. But remember, my time is valuable. Your food has... Better be amazing. Boncho, you can't be thinking of... What is this, Miss Yoshi? Is there something I'm missing? All done. This is a whole roasted shark head. Oh my god! Th this is... You fried the whole head! <laughs> it is an amazing dish. The meat and the cheeks hasn't been cut out. I chose to fry the head whole to preserve the subtle texture. You'll never taste something like this anywhere else. It's a high-quality dish made using the best possible ingredient. Get that out of my sight! How can you call this food? What are you saying? Take just a bite. I guarantee you'll be transported to heaven. I'm not happy with this. This is what service is like at the Dukon Hotel. Uh, it's all my fault. I'll apologize now, Boncho Yoshi. You apologize as well. I'm sorry, Miss Lois. I should have been more vigilant. Look, are you not all there is to food? Looks are not all there is to food. Why do you refuse to even try it, Miss Lewis? Boncho, now isn't the time to... I find is highly unpleasant. Is this some kind of hidden camera prank or a punishment? You'll pay for treating me this way. Don't think I'll just let you get away with it. I'm leaving. Cancel my suite. Charge me a cancellation fee if you wish. I don't care. Yeah, we kind of already figured out what the story was. After that, Boncho quit his job at the hotel and left, saying he needed the train. <laughs> It's my belief it wasn't so much the cooking itself as the ingredients and the cooking methods that he mm, researched. I see. Still, I admire him a little for not giving up on the belief that he's going on the right path. I suppose it was this stubborn side of him that allowed him to attain his current level of skill. Working with you now, he's even started social media. I feel something has changed about him, and I like it. I think you're good for him. Please, continue to get along. I'll do my best to help Boncho focus on his cooking. Sir, the pictures you took was well received. Oh, great to hear that. You hear my superiors went to assign me another task. If I give them a picture as nice as the previous ones, I'll have an offer for you. Do you want to join me and take a picture that will stand the test of time? And what are you planning to take a picture of? Do you know about manta rays? Of course, they are one of the largest of their kind. I have seen one of these majestic creatures firsthand. Good, I am planning to take a picture of them. What do you think? Alright, I'm sold, but, but, they are nocturnal, so we need to move at night. And we need some lure to attract them. Sarah, repair my equipment. Could you find a lure in the meantime? Um, I don't know what manta rays feed on. I'm sure you can figure that out in no time. I will count on you then. Tell me when you are got the lure. Hmm. What would a manta rays feed on? Ellie is the best when it comes to ecology. Should I give her a call? Oh, Dave, you aren't, weren't around yesterday, so I was a bit worried. I couldn't get in touch with you via radio, mm -hmm. either. I was at the Sea People Village yesterday. You, you what? What happened? Mm -hmm. Well, you see... I see, I envy you, I do. What a lucky experience. 
I'm not sure how I can help, but it's clear that you have problems to deal with. Why don't you go talk with the residents first? I'd love to go as well. But as you said, only one person can use the see people mirror. What a pity. <laughs> one don't expect to turn to events. If you need any of my tools, don't forget to check out the Cobra Shop. Yeah, so I'll have to use the see people mirror first to visit their village. You can use the mirror, Tenzin gave you, to immediately travel to the people's village. The mirror is solar powered, so it's unable to be used at night. Oh, how's it going? Do you know what Manta Ray's feet on? I know what manta rays eat. Oh, really? They feed on plankton at night. Drop something that lures glowing plankton at night, and they will come. And you will need five kelp to lure plankton. Huh. It made of kelp? That's it, necessarily, but they will work. Two, just bring me some. Oh, got it. Now, input this here. Whoa. Got some eco points? Hey. This has nothing to do with the lore. Ah, uh, don't be disappointed yet. Ta-da, the lore capsule. Oh, just drop this lore and you will lure all the plankton in the area. It's made of quality ingredients. Goodbye then. I got the lore, now I must tell Udo about it. Ah, this must be the lore from Manta Ray. My mouth is watering, I'm kidding. Anyways, I need to be prepared to take pictures of the night. I will call you when I'm ready, hehe. <laughs> Okay. What's that? With that, I think I'm gonna end this here. Because I have played a lot today. I this has been a three hour long stream. And it was a, we've made it to chapter three, so I progress has been made.